So, uh, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, staff, for giving me the opportunity to present about the report, my country report from Malaysia. So, today I'm going, I would like to present about the Microbiology Sciences Program 2010 in Malaysia. So, I hope all of you prepare for the long journey to this place. <laughs> right. So, Okay, I would like to. Uh, in, uh, okay, uh, first of all, I would, would like to uh, present you about the philosophy uh, of the, uh, the science program in Malaysia. The objective, the activities program on 2010 that included uh, including the education and scientific studies, future planning and strategies, and conclusion. Okay, the philosophy uh, of the microbiology science program in Malaysia is because we know. Uh, we realize that education is an, an important of this program which enables Malaysia to explore frontiers of education in science, technology and engineering in ways never before in science by nations. Because the program involves scientists, educationists, general public and students. All of this, uh, these people uh, uh, involved to contribute in the microbiology science program. The objective of microbiology science program is to inspire the people to strive for essence and the unity of the purpose to send experiment to the space, uh, that's the dream um, that will benefit the science, energy and industry, gaining knowledge and experience, of course from our friends, Japan, Russia and other countries that are using this acquisition as a base to expertise in space science and, and microbiology education, to instill the interest of the young generation, to explore new areas of science and technology. Okay, activity program 2010, in education area, because Malaysia is planning to be more active in microbiology education program. Along the year of 2010, uh, actually Malaysia has participated and implemented uh, education program as part of the PLAC program uh, on March, 2000, uh, on March uh, and December 2010. Outreach and exhibition, briefing session to parliament members of Malaysia and ASEAN 6 2010, okay, with, uh, which I will explain to you uh, one by one. Okay, we go to education, Purple Pride program on March 2010. The annual, annual, uh, announcement of opportunity uh, call for proposal began on 13 May 2009. Open to Science and Technical University in Asia. Opportunities for undergraduate, postgraduate, and young researcher students. Open to visit chemistry, technical engineering fields. And uh, request for proposal close on 25th May 2009. Uh, I'm sorry, 2009, yes. One proposal from the MMU selected to be in flight uh, and uh, under the topic uh, of magnetic interaction of magnetic analytical in microgravity. And uh, what's uh, the important here is Malaysia sharing the right with Thailand team, with uh, third or four of the total space right, and the mass, and Malaysia for the rest one over four. Interface coordination team with Thailand team. And Japan Space Forum at Multimedia University on 22nd January 2010. Interface Confirmation Meeting with Thailand Team and Japan Space Forum at King Mongkut University of Thailand, Tonbury, Community, Thailand on 25th to 26th February. Um, and thank you for uh, thank you to Mr. Sawat for the coordination meeting. Um, and finally, the nation is given to on 25th to 27th March uh, held at Nagoya Airport, please. And for December 2010, an announcement of opportunity and progress uh, and began uh, on 21st June, which is called proposal, uh, under the Malaysia Innovative 2010 Initiative, okay, open to all science and technology, open opportunities for undergraduate, postgraduate, and young researchers, students, open to visit studies and technical engineering fields, and uh, close, <coughs> was closed on 31st July. Three proposals were received, and on second one, one, one proposal uh, from the Malaysian Multimedia University, MMU, the same university as the, uh, the last public flight, uh, was selected to be in flight uh, the, under the research title Investi Investigation of Pattern Fairfield in Hypergraphy and Microgravity, and expected to be on board on 15 to 17 December held in Nagoya. Okay, these are the three proposals that were received. Um, a measurement of movement of ions in 1G and 0G condition. Second, investigation of pattern 
patent uh, patent fruit in hypergravity and microgravity, uh, which uh, was selected, and that is the effect of microgravity on sound wave. Uh, and then we go to the uh, another education program in Malaysia, outreach and exhibition. So the outreach um, and exhibition program uh, actually on the year 2010 was declared by the Malaysian government as the year of innovation and creativity, uh, known as Innovation Malaysia 2010 (MI 2010). And the program celebration uh, was uh, was celebrated with various events and programs organized by the NGOs the private and the government sectors uh, and we did it uh, and they, they, uh, they uh, do their outreach program over the seven zones in Malaysia. So Amkasa and the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation was participated in this event in order to promote the Malaysian Microbiology program through exhibition. And uh, the important thing is that this uh, outreach program also was support, supported by uh, our second Ankasawan. Ankasawan we call uh, Ankasawan is Malaysian astronaut, uh, and he uh, together with us to promote the microgravity program uh, under the Innovation Malaysia Year 2010. And also uh, we do the brief, simple briefing, briefing session to Parliament members of Malaysia in order to make them. Uh, know very well about the microgravity. Okay, Angkasa and Mosti has taken responsibility to organize a special briefing on microgravity studies to Parliament members of Malaysia, uh, which was held on 13 July 2010 in the Malaysian Parliament building in Kuala Lumpur. About 250 people, including including the 71 Parliament members, were coming. Uh, six scientists, which were involved in the first. Uh, astronaut, National Astronaut Program uh, have given their presentation and achievement of their microgravity research and outcome. And also the minister himself was a moderator for dialect session. All the members have shown their interest in the discussion session. So if we look at the, the PIs or the scientists uh, giving their presentation, and also this um, here we got uh, our deputy minister and this is uh, our uh, director general of Ankasa and these are those the people including the 71 uh, parliament members come to hear the um, <coughs> to listen uh, to the briefing session ok uh, the next Education program uh, and the microgravity program in Malaysia is ASEAN 6 2010, which initiated under the ASEAN Kibo Mission Planning Task Force meeting as a Kibo project. And Malaysia was given a task to design the mission page. Um, I'm not going to show the mission page here because uh, I believe that they will, they will be announced by uh, Dr. Munir after this meeting. Okay. Uh, Malaysia is one of the committee members to implement this program as a part of microgravity science education program. And um, for local implementation program, uh, the seed then will be distributed, distributed to uh, schools on the year 2010. This one up the seed uh, from uh, Jaksa. And 100, 100 grams of chili pepper seed, uh, or the scientific name is Texium Enum, CBMC11, okay, will be sent to space. On January 2010, um, uh, for two months, two months uh, space exposure, and 100 grams, which is 50 grams space, uh, and 50 grams ground. Uh, as uh, the 50 grams ground is the uh, what we call a reference, okay? A reference seed, ground seed to be distributed to schools. Another 50 grams. Uh, okay, the 950 grams will be used for research purposes. Okay, Angkasa has established local committee members on 2010. Um, National Palm Oil Board, National Raman Board, National Agricultural Research and Development Institute and Ministry of Education were involved in our, uh, uh, as uh, our local committee members. And the first local committee members meeting was held on 
uh, for August 2009 in Putrajaya uh, in order to develop uh, our local implementation planning and coordination meeting with JAKSA at Marri on 5th October 2010. Thank you Dr. Munyam for coming uh, for that meeting. And then uh, we are planned to, in, to do a workshop on development of education module tentatively on 7 to 9 this December 2010. And uh, we plan to do another three workshop on 2011 in order to uh, to develop the modules uh, step by step. And this module, uh, because this module is required to uh, so that students can participate in this program systematically. Okay. Um, okay. The SIP will be distributed to 100 schools on the year uh, 2011 and the secondary schools level students are involved as a target, targeted group. The students will plan to return SIPs exposed to microbiology environment as well as a control group and will make two months observation, data recording, and hypothesis development and investigate the effect of space flight in terms of germination and growing rates, seedling, weather, and other growth parameters that can be observed. Respondent may analyze for each tips recommended uh, by measuring method and observation uh, by uh, visual method. And also students may get photograph, image, for each sample of seeds experimented and then they will have to send the data on email or upload the data to websites after analyze and the students are encouraged to write a paper and report pre and present in uh, their report in their own creative way and all of the of course all of the report will be sent to JATSA okay now we, are, we go to scientific studies uh, one of the, uh, the, the fields uh, in activity program 2010 on microbiology sciences program. Uh, okay, Malaysia is going to be more active in microbiology scientific studies okay, for the year 2010. Two main research activities on microbiology have been implemented. Uh, they are brought into the role in uh, Kibo, ASEAN 6 2010, which is as a part of the program of the six for Asian future, as I informed you later, uh, just now, the 50 gram uh, distributed to school and another 50 gram uh, will be used for uh, research purposes. Okay, Malaysia was offered by JAXA to bring, uh, okay, uh, actually the protein tested growth in Kibo, uh, the historical is, uh, actually Malaysia was offered by JAXA to bring 24 samples of protein to be crystallized in Kibo. And the objective is to, to obtain a high quality protein crystal of industrial important enzymes and in a microbiology environment. And the specific objective is to study the crystal growth behavior of industrial important enzymes, to study the effect of microbiota on the crystal growth, to solve the 3D structure of the selected enzyme, and to integrate the 3D crystal structure obtained on the earth in this case. Okay, these are the uh, the flight schedule on uh, first, second, and third flight. And the third, the third flight launch was launched on 8th, uh, September 8th and expected uh, and landing on 26th. And uh, uh, the protein uh, was, we, we broke the protein of L42 lipase, uh, F101S lipase, AM lipase, and L2 lipase. Okay. Okay. On the sequence of the first and second flight, the project has given high significant impact. Which uh, I will show you um, the the, uh, the the effect, the, the impact from this uh, uh, project provided by uh, JAXA. The first in human resource, which uh, six PhD students and nine uh, nine master students and two trainees. And this is assisted who were born. About the lab facilities, uh, the procurement of uh, this site, uh, this kind of rock crystallization robot, uh, and ATA explorer purification system, 
crystallization chambers and in-house buckle exit protein biostates in the crystal diffractometer system. Okay, uh, and uh, we put these uh, lab facilities uh, in uh, UST put uh, foundation. Okay, these are the, the students and these are the facilities, lab facilities. Okay. And also uh, from the opportunities, uh, 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 the, uh, from the Texas opportunities, uh, from the opportunities given by Texas, uh, we also uh, develop uh, color internet work, networking and uh, also find some collaborators from Osaka University, Marwa Foods and Bioscience Incorporation, Nara Japan and Japanese Space Exploration Agency, of course. And, oh, okay, the training attachment in the University of Hugo and Spring League, Sync Control. And conference, three international conference, publications, uh, about five. These are the, what the, the publication, high impact publication. Okay, now we go to ASEAN Six Research Studies. Uh, the ASEAN Six Research Studies, uh, the Six Research as a part of ASEAN Six 2010 Space Peace for ASEAN Futures Program, uh, which was initiated under the ASEAN Global Mission Planning Task Force Meeting as a key project. Under the grant of Chile Peppers, uh, will be sent to space and um, of course, uh, of, like I, I informed you that, uh, just now, 50 gram space and 50 gram ground to be distributed to research institution uh, under the um, uh, coordination of National Agriculture Research and Development in, in Institute, Mali. And also, Marty was uh, re responsible to prepare the seed, which the, the 100 gram seeds for space were prepared, and 100 gram seed for ground control uh, also uh, was prepared by Marty. And also, a sample of 100 gram seeds was sent to JAXA on 13 November 2010. The research objective is. Um, to study the effect of microbiota on seed quality, to study the effect of microbiota on plant growth and disease resistance, to examine the influence of microbiota on gene expression related to cell and structure and disease resistance. And the expected output is uh, the documentation on the effect of microbiota on seed quality, documentation on the effect of microbiota on plant disease resistance, Database generation on gene expression, parathemics, and metabolomics of chili disease and the microbiota environment. And markers discovered in chili related to microbiota environment. And our future planning and strategies, uh, we will uh, collaborate with uh, JAXA or NASA or European Space Agency uh, in order uh, to establish our outreach program on microbiota. And also, uh, we are planning to explore the space agriculture, uh, space agriculture program in the nation and uh, feasibility studies. Continuously join the utilization of Kibo with ASEAN Pacific Regional Space Agency, JAXA, uh, and all. And also, we uh, managed to explore the hyper gravity um, studies. Okay, these are the purpose item for maybe for discussion. So uh, we hope that under the upstart we can establish the umbrella agreement. Okay, for uh, every part uh, sub country. Every uh, and then the second is every scientific research experiment project must also have education element. Okay, and the third is Regional Space Microbiota Alliance Research Group. We established the research group uh, on the regional space, uh, on the regional of any field of interest, and then we attach to Kibo program. And the last, to widen the ground based microbiota experiment activities on the rocket and rock tower. So, all of that things 
We can conclude as, um, the microbiology science program 2010 measure as a completion. Measure is planning to be involved in microbiology program through smart partnership with international partners, especially all researchers and experts, with, uh, which will possibility give commercial and high scientific return and also to continue to develop interactive education program on microgravity in other for knowledge generation, world creation and society building. So I think uh, that's all and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much.
I have a question about, uh, about the protein crystal growth and that. Uh, can, can you say that? I think, okay, that uh, you, you buy, you call, you already uh, three times, three times. Uh, 
you have any uh, <laughs> report uh, uh, to get a good quality of protein from your supplement? Uh, without those uh, protein preservatives, experiments. Okay, because there is, uh, okay, um, just, uh, okay, as I show you this, uh, some of the uh, research outcome uh, is, uh, from the first and second slide, uh, is the scientific studies report and papers yes, has been published. Um, and also we are managed to show all of the out research outcome from the first and second flight in our uh, microgravity uh, workshops in Malaysia that we are, we are planning to uh, that we planning to uh, implement on next year. Yeah, hopefully, yes, we have here. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.